Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my everyday um, curl routine. Um, I wear this look a lot um, on a, like a day-to-day -day basis and I get a lot of questions on how I curl my hair and so I wanted to uh, film this so that everyone could see like what kind of products I use and what how I um, go about styling my hair. Um, I do really like this look because it's kind of just like a natural curl. Kind of reminds me of like the whole Victoria's Secret um, curls that they wear on the runway. So, so um, remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see how I curl my hair just keep watching. Okay, so this is my natural hair and as you can see it's pretty thick and I have a lot of it. So depending on the uh, type of hair you have, whether you have a lot of a hair but it's really thin or you have really thick hair but you don't have a lot of it or whatever the case is for you specifically, that's going to determine how hot you want your uh, curling iron. So today I'm going to be using the Hot Shot Tools and I think this is a one inch barrel. Um, also depending on the kind of curl you want is going to depend on how thick the barrel is so like I said this is a one inch but if you want them to be a little bit looser I would go with a thicker barrel like a one and a half if you want really tight uh, curls go for a half inch if you kind of want more of that like beachy kind of like what my hair is right now like this is just my natural hair but you could achieve this with um one of like the tapered ones might just be like a little bit um curlier than this but it'd probably be like a similar um effect of just kind of having that like beachy wave look and i'm gonna get into the look right now so i have my curling iron set right now for about 400 degrees 425 400 um and like I said, I have much thicker hair than some other people. So depending on if you have thinner hair, I definitely wouldn't put your um, iron up that high. So first, I'm going to start by sectioning off my hair. I like to do my hair from the bottom up. So I pull all the top, all the hair that I'm not curling, kind of just into a messy bun. Sometimes I use a clip. Sometimes I just use a hair elastic. It doesn't really matter and then I section it from each side so that I have equal parts of hair on each side of my head and I usually just take about one inch sections and I'll take my curling iron and I like to curl the hair away from my face just because that's what kind of gives you those like big voluminous curls I don't like the look of curls when they all go towards your head it like looks kind of weird to me see i just kind of held it on for like seven to ten seconds and i got a curl and like i said it also depending on how tight you want them you can hold it on for longer if you want them looser you can definitely um not hold them on for as long keep holding it. We usually like touch it a little bit to make sure that the um, hair gets hot. Another thing that you can do is when you drop the curl you can kind of just hold it in your hand for a couple seconds so then it really sets the curl in. Um, I recommend anyone that has like really straight hair doing that because um, I know a few people who have done it and it's worked pretty well for them. Just gonna curl my whole head and again if you want more of those beachy waves I would alternate between going like towards your face like behind like away from your face just alternate back and forth because then that's what's going to give you um a bit more of like a messy curl look but today I'm just going for my like everyday loose curls and this does not take me long at all, guys. Like, I can curl my whole head in 10 to 15 minutes max, I would say. Just because I've gotten so used to doing it. And I usually take, like, pretty, like, decent-sized sections just to get it done with. <laughs> So now 
now that I've finished this whole bottom section, I'm going to take my hairspray. And this is the Garnier Fructis, um Full Control Hairspray. Um, this is just like some random hairspray that my sister gave me. And just spray it all in. And again, depending on how well your hair holds your curl, um, can depend on how much hairspray you put in. I usually don't put that much in, um, especially because I kind of like my curls to fall a little bit, like get a little bit wavier, a little bit more relaxed instead of so um, tight. And then I'm just going to take my neck section down. And again, so my hair is already divided. Just divide it from the back. Um, and this is a, kind of an important thing. If you do decide to alternate, um, like, the way you set, like, do your curls, like, one towards your face, one away from your face, you definitely want to start the first curl away from your face because that's just going to open up your entire face whereas if you curl it inwards it's just going to make you look weird no offense to anyone that does do that more power to you but I'm just giving you my advice and what I've been told by like my hairstylist and I know other um, hair like beauty gurus always say that as well so just keep curling. Again, like there's not really any like technique to it. It's just kind of how you want. Like you can also curl like that and curl all the way up your head and leave it there. You can pull your hair through. It's still going to give you like the same effect like that and that are like basically the same thing. So, just whatever you're comfortable with. And I think the th main thing, too, is the people think that they have to go and spend all this money on a curling iron. Honestly, this is $30. I've had this for since high school, I'd say. It always, like, works really well for me. It's gotten the job done. You don't need to be spending $200 on a curling iron, especially as a college student. We be broke. We're, we don't have money for uh, a $200 curling iron. We have to spend money on our $200 books, which is also ridiculous. But that's a little bit more important than this. So just work with what you have is the main thing. Like, don't go out and buy some, like, fancy schmancy curling iron just because you feel like it's going to work better when you have one that works just as well. my last curl on this side of my head and then I'm going to move to this side see this side always takes a little bit longer because I have just like a little bit more hair on this side than I do this side of my head and again just Pulling away from your face. An important thing too is don't start your curl all the way to the top. Like see how I'm leaving like a few inches right here and then doing the curl? That is also going to make it look a little bit more natural. The way I kind of like to do it is right where like my eyes are is where I'll start the curl because it then it's like kind of straight and then like flutters away. So it kind of puts a little bit more emphasis on that part of my face. Whereas, if I curled it right at the top, it would just look really weird. Okay, and we're going to just keep curling until we get our full head done. <laughs> like I've said before, any video that you guys want to see, just let me know. Comment down below. Um... Because I definitely want to make sure I'm putting out stuff that you want to see. This was actually a request from one of my friends at school that wanted to see this video. So, shout out to Katie for asking for this video. And definitely give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more um, like hair tutorials or if you want to see like a hair care routine. 
I have like a pretty solid hair care routine after dyeing my hair so much. Obviously my hair is not naturally this blonde even though I so wish it was. But from all that dyeing it's definitely taken some life out of my hair but with the right products you can add that right back in. Right, we're going to do like two more curls and then we'll be done. Mm -hmm. Like I said, like I literally leave this on my head for like five to ten seconds. Like sometimes not even ten. That's like a lot for me. But again, my hair curls very easily and takes the heat really well, so it really just depends on your hairstyle. So don't look at this and say, oh, well, Brianna um, only put her curling iron on her hair for 10 seconds. That's what I'm going to do. Like, you have to adjust it based off your hair type. You just kind of got to work with what you have, and this is what I have. So this is what I play with. So these are all the curls, and obviously these are still, like, pretty tight. So I'm going to spray some more hairspray right and then I'm just gonna like take my fingers and pull the curls through a little bit see how this is kind of just like breaking them up making them a little bit nicer and also you can go in and like kind of like tease your hair to just give them more volume give it that like whole Victoria's Secret curls look and just keep pulling and see how like my hair is like nice and like straight at the top and then it goes into the curl like that's what you want when you just want some like nice soft everyday curls like I wear this look to class I can wear it to dinner with my boyfriend or like out or to like a special occasion and it works so I'm just gonna take my um, wet brush pro and kind of use that to tease just the top of my hair just to give it like I said just a little bit more volume just gonna back comb in a little bit and like back comb the sides and obviously not too much but just a little bit to give your hair a little bit more volume and I also like to use this OGX um, Argan and Moroccan oil and I just use this as a kind of like finisher spray on my hair to keep it looking shiny because sometimes hairspray can make your hair look really dull and this just kind of adds a little bit of lightness back into my hair it makes it still feel soft and not like crunchy and um this is also something i put in my hair when my hair is wet and i kind of let my hair air dry with this in it and it makes it feel super soft and super nice um i would definitely recommend this product so this is my finished look and i hope that you really enjoyed watching it remember to comment down below any other uh videos you want to see and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see some more hair tutorials and i'll see you soon bye guys